or asked to write 0.000089 in standard form. And as we move the decimal point, we're basically moving the number to the left in the place value table. So every time you move to the left, you have to kind of compensate by dividing by 10, actually, because I'm kind of times it. If I wrote 0.00089, I've actually times that number by 10. So I would have to times by 10 or divide by 10 or times by 10 to the minus 1, which is the same thing. When you learn about standard forms, sometimes you use negative indices without quite realizing what they are. But we're dividing by 10 every time we move one to the right. So just count how many move along. One, two, three, four, five. And it's therefore going to be 8.9 times 10 to the 5. Why do we stop there? Because for standard form, this always has to be between, well, greater or equal to 1 and less than 10. It's got to be a single, well, I don't want to say a single digit, but, um, you know, between those values, not like 11 or 23 or something like that. Okay, so just keep going until you get the decimal point after your first non-zero number. 8.34 times 10 to the 4 is an ordinary number. We do this in a very similar way. So decimal point is here. Now I'm, um, I've got 8.34 and I'm just timesing it by 10 to the 4. Every time I times by 10, the decimal point is going to move one to the right because I'm moving now to the left up my place value table. So I go one, two, three, four, fill these in with zeros. The decimal point moves to there. And that's therefore going to be my answer, 83,400. Hopefully that makes sense. Might be able to get away with certain things on your calculator. Let's see. Depends what mode you're in. So if I have four zeros, does this help? Okay, actually it does it for you here, so it's a little check, but make sure you can do it without, because there will be questions that test you on that. Uh, let's find out about 8.34 times 10 to the 4, does that, by the way, this is the standard form button down here, you can say times 10 to the 4, but this is just a bit quicker, and there has a few other advantages as well, and actually it sorts us out as well here, but look, I'm still glad I explained it, because I want you to obviously understand why it works.